right now on Fox 5 News at 5. Well, Harry, you got your dancing shoes on? Got my two left feet ready. <laughs> a competition is being held right now to find the city's best teenage ballroom dancer. And you know who can cut a rug? Fox 5's top dancer, Julie Chang, live in Morningside Heights with more. Jules. Hey, guys, I'm live inside Riverside Church where they're giving me the honor of kicking off the rumba. All right, cue the music. Let's do it. Right now, I am feeling quite old. That's because we are dancing with, forget the stars, we're dancing with fifth graders. Yeah, nine schools from five boroughs all duking it out here on the dance floor. They are all going for the title of best dancing school. Now, these students are all part of the not-for-profit group called Dancing Classrooms. Now, all in all, there are 240 schools participating in Dancing Classrooms. Now, Pierre Dulane, the gentleman with the gray hair that you see in the middle of the dance floor, he started this program 15 years ago as a way to teach children how to ballroom dance, as also they are learning how to do teamwork, to learn how to be elegant, classy. He's been doing this for 15 years. Now, just moments before, I talked to some students who say their borough will take the cake. It's just like really fun and like it helps build your self-confidence. We're like um, putting our own personality in the in our dance to make it look good and not to copy anybody else like to put your own style into it. Are you having more luck with the ladies now? <laughs> <laughs> now just to let you know, dancing classrooms, well all of their funding, half of it comes from donations. So if you are interested and having your kids participate as well as helping out financially, just log on to our website, myfoxny.com. Now the grand finale for the best dancing school in all of New York, that will take place in June. I'm Julie Chang, live in Morningside Heights. Very, we'll send it back your way. <laughs> Go on, darling, cut I'll that rug. You. you got some rave reviews coming yeah. from the studio, Julie. Good girl, <laughs> that made my day. And they are not even out of elementary school yet, but these kids can already tango and foxtrot like it's nobody's business. Tonight they competed for bragging rights in ballroom dancing. Fox 5's Julie Chang joins us now with uh, some more info on those little moves. Did you get any from those kids, Jules? Derry, for the first time I was too tall. Oh. And too old. Oh. <laughs> Forget Dancing with the Stars. Tonight it was all about dancing with the Boro Stars, a dancing project that began as a way to encourage diligence, manners, and to keep kids out of trouble, is now thriving with some jiving. They may be pint size, but their passion for dancing, oh yeah, tango, is big enough to pack all of Riverside Church. The merengue, the foxtrot, the uh, rumba, the tango, and the swing. You know how to do all those dances? Yeah. Fourth and fifth graders from nine schools in the five boroughs put their best foot forward, not to mention impressive posture, for the colors of the rainbow team match. And with smooth moves and this slick hairdo. Are you having more luck with the ladies now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It helps build your self-confidence and like it's really fun. The competition is hosted by American Ballroom Theater, which also runs the nonprofit project called Dancing Classrooms. Pierre Dulane, the vivacious dance teacher, who was the star of the documentary Mad Hot Ballroom, has been spearheading the project for the last 15 years. Now, Dancing Classrooms includes 240 schools in the New York area. It beats watching TV or playing video games, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're all a team. Like, we all have to work together to earn the golds. Crystal was right that teamwork paid off. Her school, PS69 on Staten Island and... Queens! Okay, are you guys gonna win? Yeah! Yep, PS129 and PS175 from Queens took the top three finalist spots. Well done, ladies and gents. Take a bow. So cute. The three schools that won tonight are the winter semester finalists, so this means they will now be heading to the grand finals in June. We do want to mention that Dancing Classrooms operates on donations, so during these tough times, they do need your help to keep the project going to help. Meet us online, myfoxny.com. Derry. Very well done. Thank you, Julie.